and the one on its right that goes right up below the cemetery and that bush that you can see is Tukotu. Certain times of the year, and it's been going for oh, a couple of hundred years now, we always used to get the, the white heron. The, hey, the white heron below her place, uh, her tupinous place. Yeah. And that's the river's name, uh, Kotuku. I've got big muscle boys at home, a dozen of them that we can make a floating pond to and all we need is timber. I've got all the pond, I've got all the muscle boys, big bastards. We can make a floating, floating pond soon here, just with anchors, and they can um, we get on that all tides. Big enough to walk off the boat with the coffin, you know, so that not, everyone's not staggering away. Over here is the is This is Motukraka. The island. Yeah, the yeah. island is Montecrapa. Right. And over here is the float. The Paro. Uh, yeah, the Paro. And um, uh, next to uh, the block here, Wahakirikiri, is Nani Hul. And, and there is that uh, Hohepa. Hohepa, um, one of the, the. That's our grandfather, and his uh, fa uh, father was Hemi. So Hemi and Harata, brother and sister, and Nui Hare around the corner, another brother. <coughs> and we go up, or as we go up the river, we, you, you'll be able to see. And um, over here, this river here that goes in behind the island, come out mm -hmm. further down, is, they call it Mowawi. And the reason why they got, how it got that name, there used to be a, there was a big battle here before, and all the bodies were lying here, face up. And their mouths were full of sand, and that's how it got its name, Waha Kirikiri. If you go up there, you're going to see some Nikos, they're, they're shapeless. One side is beautiful, and the other side is like this. Yeah. There's about two or three, I think there's about two left. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and at the bottom of those trees, you find little stones from that size to this size. Yeah. At, the, at, the, at the base of those trees. Now, um, and straight up from those trees, there's a spring. There's a spring up there, and the water is red. And yeah, you want to do that? And they used to trickle it down, and they used to feed it into these Nico trees as a filtering system. Oh, okay. Yeah, the Nico was filtering the water. Oh, yeah. Taking the red, whatever the red was. That's right. Yeah. And when uh, when they grew the Nico, they opened it up and put a small stone in, and as it grew, so did the stone. The size of the stone grew until he ended up with a big cavity. Right. Wow. So they pulled it up, and when they let it go, and the tree sealed it, yeah. sealed yep. itself, yeah. and inside that cavity became a water, you know. Oh, so it filtered the water and kept it. Oh, right. Yeah, and it's up that river here. Yep. Then the name of that river. Water filtration. Yeah. Is that right? It used to be all the swirling down there, yeah. and then and taken all around by water to all the butcher shops around the place. The underneath the, it was run by the Londons. Yeah. That time. And there was a big building there, right by where that tree is. Right. Yeah. The first uh, slaughterhouse. Yeah. Yeah. 